Hey Tribe, this is Medlaker here. In today's video, we are going to review another freelancing platform. And this one is called golands.com. So I'm already logged in here and uh, I just skipped the registration process in this video. Just a quick feedback on that. I tried to register just by clicking on Google and logging in with Google account. It didn't work. I tried a few times, so I actually had to register by putting in my email and confirming an email. So I don't want to bore you with this part. I mean, it's just like registering there. So I'm here logged in. Oh, golands.com. And I'm in, in the tab called work. Uh, there are a few tabs here. The website looks pretty nice, I would say. So uh, the first thing that caught my attention here was that you can now receive notifications about jobs to your Telegram, which is which is a cool functionality. Plus, they kind of showed that they are cool because they use Telegram. And as you know, it's for cool people and drug dealers. So yeah, that's and, and also cryptocurrency people. So that's that's kind of cool, but also um, this entire idea is good because usually with Upwork, you need to uh, code a little bit. You need to make your RSS feed to get those job notifications to see them first before others here. They just do it for you, it seems like. So anyways, let's go and take a look at the work tab, what actually, uh, what our actual job was here. So let's take a look at these here. So um, let's see. So these are hourly, 20 to 29 hours per week, hourly, 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 hourly. So that's good. So they are not looking for full-time positions. They are actually looking for some kind of people who are going to work for them per hour. So let's take a look here. Let's take a look at what's going to, what's going to happen if we click on the, uh, job, uh, post. So you can apply or you can't, I guess, I guess. I need to complete registration or something. I don't know why I can't apply. Anyways, um, there are pending proposals, just three proposals. That's, that's good. That's, that's, that's not many people. When did they post it? Two hours ago. Okay. Two hours ago and just three proposals. And that's for web development, which is like, you know, like next to design is like the most overly saturated niche for for freelancers. So it's it's it sounds really good. Data entry, project manager, customer experience, Spartan website, team member, virtual admin, lead generation specialist. Uh, okay, let's take a look. What's going on here? We need a detail oriented person. So please read post carefully and respond as per instructions. Okay. Framing is going on here. Shut the fuck up. You're a stupid freelancer. Read it exactly like we say. I mean, personally, I would post the same thing. I would just do the same thing if I was looking for a detail oriented person, but already it kind of tells you what kind of people going to be here. So the quality, quality of job posts seems to be better than Upwork, but I mean, it's not like you are, you are, you know, this like God to them who knows technology or more like uh, a minion. Anyway, so let's read what they say here. We are looking for a very capable VA who has experience and expertise in data entry, lead generation, database building. So it's not really lead generation specialist, right? I mean, I am lead generation specialist. I know how to get leads for businesses. This is, they are actually looking for a VA. What is your role? Uh, in this role, you're our bitch. I'm oh, sorry. I, I just said it by mistake. In this role, you are responsible for executing projects of varying nature. Okay. So basically you do everything. Um, so the location is Philippines. Um, the guy has a Americanized Polish last name. So it's probably like, like third or second generation. American Paul, who who went from the U.S. to the Philippines or something and started a VA agency there or something. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. 55 proposals. That's a lot. That feels like Upwork. Uh, but 52 
interviewed. So, I mean, that sounds like they are actually, you know, doing the interview. I mean, this is exactly the type of job you wouldn't apply to no matter what, but that's exactly the type of job post you would be posting if you are looking for people. You would interview all of them, you would frame them, uh, you would describe the job post in a similar way. That's usually how I would post a job. Anyways, I can't apply uh, and I don't know why, but it says here, in order to apply for jobs, complete your profile. So let's see what does it say here. Okay, so you have to put your rate, um, country. Okay, cool. Let's say Medlaker from Vietnam. Uh, time zone of Vietnam is GMT plus seven. So let's go for this one. Um, okay, headline lead generation unicorn. I wonder if you could add emojis there. Yeah, you can. Okay, let's see if that's gonna save. Okay, cool, I can have a uh, unicorn. Uh, okay, required fields, avatar, summary, skills, categories. So here, if you're watching this video, I'll show you a little bit um, how I'm thinking behind making these um, freelancing profiles. So first thing about the picture, you don't want to look cool and nor you want to look sleek. You don't want to look like you're smarter than them because it, it usually makes people be scared. You want to you wanna kind of look like like this geeky developer that they think that they can take advantage of. I used to have this like picture wearing glasses with my thieves out looking like an idiot, like, and that's what people resonated with. Whenever I look like, I know like my hair looks great and I have like really good shirt and I look confident, that's good for, the, for a salesperson. But if you want to frame it as you're a freelancer, then pretend to be an idiot. And that's what they like because they think that they can be superior to you. So uh, consider putting a picture where you look a little bit silly, but at the same time professional. Uh, profess means high quality picture. The higher quality picture, the better. Really use really, 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 really good high quality picture. So let's take a look at what I have here prepared. So. I don't have my old Upwork profile here, but here is an example of what I wouldn't put. That's what I would not put as your picture if you were looking for like some kind of VA position because they're gonna be like, all right, this guy looks too smart. Like he looks so sharp. He's probably like way smarter and way wealthier than me. I mean, I hope that's what they think because that's the picture I would use when I am uh, positioning myself as a coach, because that's what you want to achieve when you're showing yourself as a coach, right? But uh, when you are more of a freelancer, I don't have a really good free freelancing picture here, but probably that would be okay. It looks like a guy you would trust, looks like some, some, some white dude that can do some work for you. Um, this one is good, looks like some geeky white dude. Um, probably this one isn't good because, I mean, they don't really necessarily want you to be the person who enjoys staying at the beach, uh, wearing a yellow jacket. That's something that looks cool for my audience, which is free freelancers who are like, oh yeah, cool. This guy knows how to freelance and still gets to have a really cool lifestyle, uh, hanging out at the beach. Um, but uh, that's not what they want. So uh, probably something like this would be good. It looks like a good geek um, or, or the one I just uh, showed you here. So again, don't try to be too cool. This is too cool. This is like I'm too, too smart already. Uh, they're looking for someone like this. It looks like a good employee. So let's try using it. Usually... This might be too high quality, but it's not. It actually works well. Okay, great. This this works well. Uh, feels like feels like a um, a good picture. Usually, usually you should have kind of eye contact with them. Like usually, you wanna make this 
this size so you can kind of like connect your eyes and your eyes can meet and have this like sexy three second of seconds of awkwardness of like right okay so this takes too long so here is what you can do if you want to um, make it like way faster you click command shift one uh, or whatever shortcut you have on your computer and you can screenshot uh the the picture um so you can set this set this in your mac settings so i usually just screenshot it's gonna appear on my desktop then it's uh then it's usually gonna be lower quality picture uh it, it should upload faster okay it works so now what else we do have to do so uh required summary of the profile okay so here is how you write a good summary a summary in your profile on freelancing pages it's kind of like uh, a landing page so here you can tap on your customer avatars needs so think who's your customer avatar and what are their pain points and what is their pleasure and there is one more good copywriting technique that uh, you can use and this technique is called uh, admitting admitting uh, the ugly truth so this is basically um, ad you know admitting their feelings so let me show you an example here so an example is your your you're scrolling through uh, go lens applications looking for a legit lead generation specialist but you're not sure who would be the right fit of course you're not sure of course you're not sure because nobody actually told you who to pick so here I am to tell you to pick to pick Matt Laker my customers can confirm it Matt Laker is a dope lead gen specialist and then Matt Laker so now here, here is here is what 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 happens here uh we're admitting their feelings we are we're like okay this is exactly what you feel feel so uh, you're scrolling through GoLens applications look looking for a legit lead gen specialist but you're not sure who be the right fit uh that's that's how they feel so you admit their feelings you're resonating with their uh state of mind versus being like uh hey pick me i'm the best i finished university like that's stupid right and university are stupid so um then we say of course you're not sure because nobody actually told you who to pick so here i am to tell you to tell you to pick matt laker now it's a little bit funny humor is a value there are usually three values that you can give to people one value is uh, some kind of knowledge uh, something they didn't know the second value is some kind of good story storytelling so we kind of use some storytelling here um i mean it's a little bit of a funny story then the third value is the humor humor is a value or some kind of emotion so um the stronger the emotion the better usually so humor is a very powerful emotion so we're using humor here so here i am to tell you to pick matt lager my customers can confirm it uh quote open quote matt lager is a dope lead generation specialist matt lager so it's like funny right now customer avatar is gonna be probably one of those people who have some stupid startup idea and they they want to make money with it but they don't have customers or something like that so uh, we have to tap on pain points of this avatar uh, so the pain point is uh, like this this is a bit of a story you had this 
awesome. Or maybe here is a word that is really good. You have you have this intergalactically. You had this intergalactically. Isn't it a thing? Intergalactically awesome. Use Grammarly, by the way. It corrects your English. Um, you had this intergalactically awesome um, business idea, but but and now here is resonating with business owners. But it did take so much time to make it make it make it work that you didn't have enough time for the lead gen worry not i'm here to solve all your deepest now it's humor again deepest deepest kinkiest lead generation desires direct message me and who knows i might pick you as my next client here it's a little bit of a framing you probably shouldn't say that to be honest i mean i mean it's kind of cocky to say that direct message me and who knows I might, I might pick you as my next time, but it's like, fuck it for now. Let's just, let's just live it. Uh, we have, we have some funny description here. Now let's go to the next thing skills. So, okay. So lead generation, let's see if it's a thing. Yeah, it is lead generation. By the way, I've chosen lead generation as an example. You don't have to choose lead generation, but you want to choose something that is in demand and something you're good at. Now, here's a few things about passion. You don't want to do something that you like. You want to do something that you're good at. And the reason for this is because passion develops in form of uh, feedback loops, positive feedback loops. So when you get rewarded for doing something you like in a form of money or appreciation or basically achieving more than others, you feel this chemicals in your body that tell you that wow this is awesome i feel great and then you get yourself into this feedback loop cycle of hey i like doing it because i feel good when i do it so basically you condition yourself like uh, pavlov's dog where you start developing something you think is a passion but actually it's just something you're good at so pick something you're good at but you can't pick something you're good at just because you're good at this you need to pick something you're good at and that there is a demand for it. right now i can tell you because of corona all the people lost businesses and they're like hey i need to get leads i didn't know i have to look for customers and then lead generation is hot this is in demand if you go with lead generation you're probably gonna get a lot of jobs not only in golands but also on upwork and other platforms so let's uh pick this one it is hot topic right now there is a demand for it but usually skim through every platform see what is demand for now how do you make this market research it's simple as well you just see the uh, proportion of how many job posts order to the amount of people who are applying so if you see it there there is like one job post a day and like thousand people applying then obviously the uh, supply of people who want to do the work is higher than demand to hire someone so that's not a good niche and then when it's the other way around there is a lot of jobs posted and not many people applying then it's good now when do you know it's good well the more people post jobs and the more jobs order and the less people apply the better that's it that's th th there is no like one specific number so let's see what else do we have to do we added one skill lead generation okay you have to add five skills what, what if i have one skill guys what is it okay lead generation uh active campaign oh it's not here or it or is it active cam campaign that's that's odd so so like what else should i add like if i want to sell lead generation lead generation uh funnels wow 
um, WordPress. It's but like why there is no active campaign? It's like it's like the number the number one newsletter platform. Okay, email marketing. Uh, sales. Okay. Okay, cool. And then the last thing we have to do here is add categories. So let's see what it is. Okay, so you pick category of what you work with accounting and consulting. Uh, okay. Admin support, customer service, data design, engineering, IT, and networking, sales and marketing. Um, social media marketing, search engine optimization, as in public relation marketing, market customers, lead generation. Oh, there is lead generation. How about I just pick one? And I'm going to set experience level as expert. That's it. Do I have to pick few? No. Cool. So, uh, okay. Yeah, I do have to pick two. That's stupid. That's really dumb. Um, okay, marketing and customer research. And I have to pick the experience level, expert, and bam. Okay, profile. Now it's done. Now you can add some extra things to make this profile better, but but I don't wanna. Uh, I wanna like start applying because that's that's like what why we actually did it. So let's see if they screwed us over and they just said that. Uh, we have to do it, but then they actually want us to do more other things or whether we can actually start applying here. So let's go back to this lead generation job, apply, and let's see what's going to happen. Um, terms, $75 an hour. Uh, okay, so that's the fee they charge, 8%. I think it's better than Upwork. I don't remember how much is Upwork. It was like 10% or something. But But, you know, they usually like, Take your money uh, also when you withdraw funds and so on. You're earning $69 an hour. Uh, okay, so next, cover letter. You, um, okay, let's see what, actually, I, I, I don't really want to like write it right now. You have a chance to work with me. I mean, this obviously would not work. Don't write something like this. Now for cover letters, um, what usually works better is video sales letters, uh, video proposals. Now, video proposals is something that um, that works very well on other platforms. I've tested this. I've created loads of video uh, proposals. They got me a lot of customers. And the reason why it's good is because you develop, establish stronger rapport with customers. And also because video proposals are, I mean, nobody really does it. So you are, uh, there is some pattern interruption going on there, but also you really differentiating yourself from the competition. So that works really good. I don't know if you could use links here. Okay, I guess you could. So with video proposals, you usually don't record custom video proposals unless you have to pay for connects. I don't know if you have to pay for connects on this platform. If not, then basically on your advantage, it would be to just send as many proposals as possible. And it would be probably ideal for you to just record a video for everyone. Just kind of the same video for all lead generation jobs. And it feels like it's just made for them. It feels like it's custom, it's not, but you just make a few videos for different platforms. Now, as for, sorry, for different things that you're applying for. So different for copywriting, different for uh, video proposals and so on. Now for video proposals, you, uh, you, you, you really don't want to go too much over the top. The higher quality videos I made, the worse respond usually so people probably thought that well this guy has too professional video to really make it for me when you make it seem like you just pulled up your phone from your ass and it just like started recording it then usually this works better than trying too hard so just like pick up your phone say um you know talk a little bit about uh, video about the the job and really what works well in video proposals and is, is showing your passion and energy behind the idea. So um, here's what I usually say 
uh, when, when it was like a landing page, I say, hey, you know, the, this is not just a landing page. It's a piece of art that sustains lives because you have leads coming from this lead generation platform and it generates revenue that allows your business to fulfill all those awesome ideas that you have. And it's so many things. It's not just a landing page. It's, it's copywriting, it's text and words. Words are actually thoughts. Words create thoughts and thoughts, in fact, create our feelings and feelings create our reality. So really with the words you use, you create reality, you pull in users into your world and you show them different paradigm. And then you use images that trigger those emotions and really get them on the same train as you are going. And you just get go with them and you, you, you really pull them with you and your business grows, right? So that's the way of showing passion. You really uh, show them how much you're into landing pages. I mean, I saw this application from somebody applying to, <laughs> to one of the members of the tribal mastermind to work for them. And he was like, I'm, I'm, I'm really passionate about Google ads. I mean, how can you be passionate about Google ads? You're either lying or you're like completely insane psychopath, right? I mean, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a bit of a joke, but, but, but you can a little, be a little bit over the top with your emotions in the video, but not with the quality of the video. So that's how you make a video proposal. Um, then you send it. Now, usually it's better if you can really attach it here. I don't know whether you can drag and drop the full video. Usually it works way better when you do it versus uh, sending a video proposal that is you know, on YouTube or something because that would those platforms would usually rank you down uh, if you send some links. I know if, the, if that's the case. Um, I'm not going to send a video proposal right now because I would have to send it, record it, upload it. I don't want to you know, really waste our time in this video. So let's let's just try to apply um, with whatever copy. Uh, uh, okay, uh, okay, you can't apply. I wonder what, oh no, you can, okay. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, that's it, that, that was easy, that, wow, nice job, golands.com. That, that felt easy. That, that felt like, like better than Upwork. Um, so um, now let's take a look here on, I mean, like functionalities of this platform. So it seems like you can just send proposals. It don't have to pay for connects. Now, how many job posts are here? Um, so when was it post three hours ago, 10 hours ago? 15 hours ago, 17 hours, uh, one day ago. Okay, so one, two, three, four a day. One, two, three, four. Okay, now job post quality sounds and feels better than Upwork. Maybe they need to, um, maybe they need to really, kind of like pay to post here or something because those job posts seem of a better quality than Upwork. Uh, it's, it's actually, it's actually not bad. Uh, senior web funnel designer. I wonder if it's same typo or, or they just make it as a joke. No, it's a typo. I'm pretty sure. And it's probably not how much they're gonna pay. So here is your proposals. Nice, nice waiting time animation. Um, I mean, I don't know. Like, I like this platform. Like, I I like it more than Upwork already. It feels like more minimal, and you just apply easily. And I don't. I, it doesn't seem to really have a limit of how much, how many you can apply. Wonder what is this wallet. Withdrawals and payment, okay. Uh, work, hire. I don't know. Like I, I have a good, I have a good feeling about this platform. I, I feel like it's, it's an interesting, uh, interesting platform 
uh, to use. Now here you can hire people. Um, I, I, I don't know if I would necessarily hire someone here, but for work, it seems like jobs are pretty, pretty decent, pretty, pretty decent, just few a day, really like, I, I've counted like four or something, I know, like average of five a day, but I mean, it's good. It's good quality. So now what, what happens if I want to hire? Uh, let's see why post the job here. Okay. Uh, da, 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 Uh, okay, I'm, I'm giving up, but uh, it doesn't seem really as complicated as Upwork to post a job, neither. Yeah, it feels really good, honest, honestly. I, I mean, I would I would rate this platform really high. It's really, really good. So let's just finish this review, but uh, check other freelancing platforms. You can go to laker.io slash freelancing platforms. I made a list of all the alternatives. Here is the page. Uh, here is what it looks like. That's a complete list list of alternatives to Upwork that I found. There are quite a lot of them. You can check all of them out. So go to laker.io slash freelancing platforms and make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, because if you do, then you're going to see all those videos about different freelancing platforms that are going to be posting for you. And anyways, good luck finding those jobs. And I see you in tomorrow's video. Cheerios.